Lagoons Do It Better TV, where we provide bite-sized segments and help your lagoon do it better. I'm Julie Hartwig, and I'm here today to talk about some of my experience working with industrial wastewater plants. And I wanted to highlight today one of the huge advantages I've noticed of lagoons over mechanical plants for industrial facilities. So lagoons are typically thought of as being municipal lagoons and municipal sewage, their influent is generally very steady. And that's not the case for industrial facilities. Industrial facilities are characterized not only by each plant, it can be very different, but even within one plant, there can be huge swings in the quality and the volume of their effluent from day to day. Um, this can include things like temperature, if you've got a heat process and you have an output of very hot water, uh, it can include concentration, where there's a lot more loading going to a lagoon on one day versus the next. Um, pH is a big one, especially if you're using chemicals or doing cleaning cycles. And then also just the characteristic of the wastewater itself. If one product one end, run ends and a new one begins, you're feeding the bacteria in your system a different food, and that shift can be very sudden and stressful. So all of those factors can make wastewater treatment in industrial plants very difficult to control. But the big advantage of lagoons are you've got all this volume, you have a holding time usually of several weeks, that acts as a moving average of all the effluent that the plant is putting out. And the advantage there is that no one upset is likely to derail the treatment process. If you have a high pH event, water comes out, it's diluted in the lagoon and mixed in with all that other water that's still there. Contrast that with a mechanical plant, which might only have treatment times of a few hours or maybe a day or two, where an upset like that can really change the treatment outcomes going through that plant. And I've actually seen this at a vegetable plant um, with a mechanical system, and they had a caustic cleanout event, but they did it at a time where some of their lines weren't running, so that caustic cleaning water wasn't diluted enough. And what happened was it raised the pH in their entire treatment system to the point that their settling chemicals, the coagulants they were feeding, stopped working. So for several hours, they completely lost the ability to settle solids out of their system. Um, they were lucky in that they had an emergency tank to store the effluent in, but they were very lucky with that. Otherwise, they would have been putting TSS out of their plant. Um, their effluent usually looked like clear water, as it should, and that day it looked like milk. Um, so I actually saw a lot of plants, industrial facilities with mechanical treatment, would build either an equalization tank ahead of their treatment process to average out their wastewater, or they would also have um, a calamity tank or an emergency tank to divert water into in case the plant put out something of high strength, or if they failed to treat the water properly, they could store some of their effluent until treatment could be restored. And that's a lot of money and resources and land put into tanks that are not directly providing any treatment function. Versus if you have a lagoon that has volume storage and dilution, you get that equalization time in your main treatment basin. And with a long holding time, you have the ability to correct treatment problems before the effluent loses quality. Um, so that's one of the advantages I see about why industrial facilities can benefit so much from having lagoons and if you have a lagoon in your industrial facility that is having treatment problems, consider supplementing the lagoon's performance instead of replacing it with a mechanical plant. Because um, then you don't lose the water storage and that dilution time, and then you can either add whether it be more aeration or a post-treatment like nitrification or filtration. And you can continue to be extremely successful in treating industrial wastewater and all of its variability using, using the lagoon. Um, so if you have any questions about this, please ask me in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, we have plenty more here on YouTube and also in our Lagoons Do It Better community on Facebook. So check us out. Thanks.